the Jesuits and the COVID-19 scam. Um, I want to talk about this real quickly here. I have talked about this in some other videos, but I'm just going to go through the proof of how there are a lot of the key players in this whole coronavirus thing are Jesuit educated. Okay, if you understand um, Jesuit, the Jesuit family includes people that have gone, not, it's not just Jesuit priests, it's people that have gone to Jesuit schools. So first of all, we'll start out here with the most obvious one, Donald Trump. Um, he went to Fordham University. Fordham University, here if you click on the link, uh, we are the Jesuit University of New York. Jesuit, right there you have it. Okay, they are a Jesuit school. All right. Next, you have Andrew Cuomo. Where did Andrew Cuomo go to school? Click on Andrew Cuomo right there. About Andrew up here. And it says here, um, after graduating, let me zoom in on this so you can see it really good. After graduating from Fordham University, Andrew Cuomo is also a Jesuit. Right, Dr. Anthony Fauci, education, Regis High School. What's Regis High School? Regis High School is a private Jesuit, right there, excuse me, Jesuit, secondary school for Roman Catholic boys. So he went to a Jesuit high school, and he also went to College of the Holy Cross, which is a Jesuit liberal arts college in Worcester, Massachusetts. All right, so two different Jesuit places that Anthony Fauci went to. So here, the big talking point for all this stuff, um, he is another Jesuit. Again, how about the uh, governor of California here, Gavin Newsom, another one that's made a lot of really ridiculous statements and rules and whatever else here. Uh, education, Santa Clara University. Click on that. What is that? Santa Clara University home, the Jesuit University in Silicon Valley. Another Jesuit. Again, you see it here, Jesuit University in Santa Clara, California. So four key players in this whole thing. You have, first of all, Donald Trump, Jesuit. Andrew Cuomo, Jesuit. Dr. Anthony Fauci, Jesuit, and also Governor Gavin Newsom, Jesuit. And I haven't even looked up all of these guys up. It's just, I've, you know, these are just some of the guys that are in the news and whatever else um, that are the, the guys out in the forefront of this whole thing. But another one I, I want to just show here real quickly. Um, Watch this documentary a while back. Different people had sent it to me. The Out of Shadows official. It's about Hollywood and mind control and the fact that there's they get in down in here to the thing of right there. Um, this John Podesta guy. I'm not going to play the audio, but um, right there, John Podesta. And this guy was involved in this whole Pizzagate thing. This, if you don't know what that is, it's about um, pizza was a sort of a code word for uh, molesting children. Um, the guy's a sick pervert. He's a pedophile. Um, and the, the WikiLeaks document or the emails came out with him, and he was saying a bunch of things. And basically, he's wanting to molest children and, and whatever else. If you look into the whole thing, but very very sick man. But what they did not bring out in this whole thing they're going through and they're talking about all this different stuff here with all these different people and everything else and and Satanism and all this other stuff and and uh, a lot of the information they brought out was okay but they left out the fact of this guy's connections what is he check this out John Podesta um, look at this education Georgetown University Law Center Georgetown University the biggest Jesuit school in America. And John Podesta uh, not only went there, he actually is a professor at Georgetown University. He's actually, you know, there teaching. So this guy, you know, not, not full time, I'm saying, but he's, he's a visiting professor and things at Georgetown University. He is a Jesuit. So if you don't understand that the Jesuit thing and, 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 how dangerous the society of Jesus is, they call themselves that. Um, again, understand Roman Catholicism, 
Roman Catholicism and particularly the Jesuit order. Uh, Roman Catholics are, are loyal to the Pope before they are loyal to their own country. So you see, why would these guys like Trump and Andrew Cuomo and Fauci and Newsom and, and this Podesta pervert, um, why would they do things that hurt their own country? Well, because they're more loyal to the Vatican. Right? And as Jesuits, they take four vows. A vow of poverty, um, chastity, I think, obedience, and loyalty to the Pope, essentially. Um, and if you don't really understand about these guys and the oaths that they have to swear, I'm going to put links at the end of this video here. Um, Eon Paisley, member of uh, Parliament over there in Ireland, I think it was, and he's reading about the Jesuit oath. He's reading all the stuff that these Jesuits have to swear to. Again, not my words, not my uh, conspiracy kookies. This is their Jesuit oath, read by a member of parliament that actually confronted the Pope, uh, Pope John Paul II. Um, then I'm going to put a link to this one here on my secondary channel, Vatican Secret Societies, Jesuits, and the New World Order. I'll put a link to that at the end of this video. And also this one here. Um, total papal control of the 2016 election. I talked about in this video how it was very clear they were choosing Trump um, at the Al Smith dinner. And I thought it was inter interesting that the um, collars of the Vatican there, scarlet and purple, you know, scarlet and purple here, kind of a thing. But there's the um, Timothy Dolan, Cardinal Timothy Dolan from New York. And, they, and the Trump in this video actually said about ending Catholic prejudice and whatever else. I forget where the part was, but you can watch this video. I'll put the link at the end of it to that too. But just remember this. I also did this video here about the Jesuits, and this is the Black Pope, the Superior General of the, the Jesuit Order, and he says, you can watch my video to hear him actually say it, we are awake again, and we are again in our life as before, meaning people, that they want this. And he says, no, no. We have to take the lesson that if we don't change after this, the next one will be worse. And they are currently saying, the, the big key word thing now is they're saying the second wave that's going to come in the fall. The second wave. Uh, well, last time I checked, the second wave is a military term for another attack. So the media is gearing up for another bigger attack in the fall. So don't go back to sleep on this whole thing. Um, Prepare yourself. If you're not saved, if you don't know Jesus Christ, the true Jesus Christ of the Bible, not the Catholic Church, not organized religion, stay away from church buildings. They got closed down. They're fake. They close their doors. They're not real. Um, you need to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Um, but you need to study this Jesuit issue. Um, it's very, very important. So that's going to be it. Thank you for watching.